never quit. We're going the Michigan Runner. Well, tonight's uh, relays competitions is over with here at Yokohama Stadium. It has cleared out and everybody's went home, but everybody will be back tomorrow night for the second and final night and everything is finals as we get a big look going all the way around this magnificent stadium here in Yokohama, Japan. And we will be back tomorrow evening to get all the rest of the final events here at the IAAF World Relay. Never quit. Never quit. Never quit. trying to focus on I guess myself you know, I could only you know these guys get great advice it was like you know make sure you stay on focus on your lane so I made sure I watched only my lane as Isaiah came in as soon as he hit that mark I just tried to get out as best I could and I knew he would get it to me uh, we, I got once I got the stick I was just really trying to you know push for home you know I was trying not to stress but at the same time I was just trying to make sure all my energy was moving forward I could just make a super huge dip uh, this time it, it did make it but I was definitely gunning for it and I heard you talking a little bit about how this is your first senior team in the men's 4x1. Can you talk about what that experience is like for you? Yeah, it's super exciting because I've been watching the 4x1 senior team for years, and I'm just like, dang, you know, one day it's going to be my turn. And I'm super glad that it's finally here, you know, not so much as a high-pressure situation, but still on a chance to be able to create chemistry and bonds with these uh, great athletes here. And uh, going into World Champs, you know, maybe I'll be able to they'll put me in the 4x1 pool, seeing as how I got my experience here. And we'll see, maybe we can uh, go after a world record, you know. <laughs> just, you know, but just, just do us, just be American. And obviously with uh, the Olympics being in Tokyo next year, um, how did this experience, do you think, help prepare you guys for that to come? I'm confident. You know, um, this is really the first team I've had where we thought about each other. You know, it wasn't individual, it wasn't four individuals going out there. You know, we brought the swag out. We got the young guys, we got the old guys, we all getting it up and just getting around the track. So once we get the, everything sharpened around the exchange zones, no one's going to stop us. We're ready. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Okay, the shuttle hurdle uh, relay team, gold medal winners. All year. Yeah. Okay, we'll Okay, you guys. I'm gonna, I'll just go in my order. Okay, all right. All right, guys, world champs. Freddie, tell me uh, what it's like. Describe, describe the experience of your the, the first ever world championship of the hurdle shuttle hurdle relay. Man, this whole experience has been exciting. This is my first senior team. You know, I haven't been on the team since 2016. I was on the U23 team. I'm just coming out here and racing with Sharika, Christina, and just just being in Japan. I'm just I'm just completely blown away by the whole the whole experience. I'm just happy. Christina, uh, DQ. Yeah. Does that add any additional pressure to that race? It was no pressure. Um, I knew it wasn't me. <laughs> I was like, okay, but it was a little disappointing though because yeah. we only had Japan since Jamaica had pulled out, and it would have been nice to have that competition as well. But 
you know, it was still fun with Japan. We did what we were supposed to do. Sharika, you're no stranger to the double. You ran twice today. Both of you did. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, talk about your race. You know what? I think it was really great. We were able to come out and get the win. I think that's all that matters, and we did it as a team. So it was great for me. I think it was great for everybody else that ran it, and we got a gold medal. <laughs> gold medal on your birthday? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Devin, talk about the chemistry of this team and, and just the overall experience. Um, I think, especially with the hurdlers, we've been around each other for so long now that we just kind of know each other's you know, personalities and the dynamic of the group fits really well. And um, just being able to compete and trust everybody to do their job helps us relax and uh, relax hurdlers and fast hurdlers. So that's what we did today and, and got, got the dub. Right, and also, don't forget that Queen and Ryan also oh, yeah. has yeah. a yeah. major part in this too. Of course, of course. Congratulations on World Champions, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, it was an honor to run with these ladies. It was an awesome opportunity. And I had so much fun out here, so I hope that I'm able to come back in two years. <laughs> and Shakima, can you talk about your leg going in after you got the stick from Jade? Well, I saw how hard Jade had worked in the lead she got us in. I just wanted to get out and hold on for the team. I knew that my my part as everybody else's part would be very important, so I just wanted to do my part. And Courtney, um, can you just talk about, um, obviously it was a little bit tight um, when you got the stick. Can you just talk about that last leg? Um, I just wanted to stay relaxed and not uh, push it too hard at the beginning, just kind of fill it out. And uh, I might have not made the best move towards the end, but I just tried my, my best to uh, catch as many people as I could. I came up a little bit short, but um, I think we all did an awesome job today. It's really early in the season, and at the end of the day, this is just world relays. At, at the end of the year, all that matters is what happens at Doha. Yeah, and that's what I was going to actually ask next. Obviously, this is a preparation towards World Championships. Um, obviously, looking to defend your title here. Standing here with the women's 4 by one Congratulations, ladies. Thank um, you. No changes from yesterday in terms of lineup or anything like that. Can you just talk about starting that race off again? Um, once again, my job was just to start the race um, and get the baton to Ashley. Um, I knew I had three good legs coming after me, so all I had to do was put the team in a decent position and we could get away with the win. It was very smooth handoffs today. That was one thing that I really noticed. Can you just talk about some of the prep work you guys did leading into this event? Uh, a lot of the prep came from the days before, obviously, when we got here. Um, just trusting ourselves, trusting the marks, trusting each other and our speed. but. A lot of preparation and it just all worked out. And Desiree, obviously no, not new to the relays at all here. Can you just talk about the experience of being here at the World Relays and um, coming here and getting gold? Uh, it was amazing. Um, I was really happy to be able to compete with these girls. And I mean, the crowd was amazing and the competition was great. So it was awesome. And Aaliyah, a little pressure by Jamaica there at the end. I just want to know, did you feel them coming in or did you feel like you still had it in the bag? Um, I mean, I felt them, but I mean, my goal was to get across the line first, so that's what I did. <laughs> did your job today. Well, congratulations, ladies. Good job.